Hi, my name is Jacob Trimble. I'm the Acting Director of Planning here at St. Louis County, and I'd like to thank you for spending the time to learn more about the annexation request by the City of Manchester. So you may have received this postcard in the mail and you're asking yourself what it's about. Well, the City of Manchester is seeking to annex this area of unincorporated St. Louis County that is outlined here in red and the map on the right. Um, and I want to note that a link to the official plan of intent for the annexation by the City of Manchester can be found in our uh, in a description of this video, as well as the link to the Boundary Commission's website and their comment form, which can also be found in the description of this video. But first, I want to talk a little bit about what does it mean to be unincorporated and to live in unincorporated St. Louis County. Well, unincorporated means that you live in an area where St. Louis County is your closest layer of government and that you don't live in an area that is covered by a city or a town or a village. Um, and as your uh, lo closest layer of government, St. Louis County provides local services to you, including policing and permitting and inspections, road and sidewalks maintenance, waste collection, parks and recreation services services, animal and vector control services, as well as planning and zoning. And additionally, the St. Louis County Council and the County Executive are your local government elected representation. And as a resident of the largest provider of local services in the entire region, uh, our unincorporated residents benefit from the county's ability to offer highly specialized services that smaller municipalities can't match. This is why more than 90% of municipalities already contract with the county to provide uh, an array of services. Our size means that we're able to provide more specialized services to greater numbers of residents at a lower cost per service provision unit. And this is part of the reason why taxation in unincorporated St. Louis County is lower than that in a municipality, including property taxes, personal property taxes, and sales taxes. So jumping into BC 21, 2201, the City of Manchester's annexation request. So first, what is annexation? Well, annexation is the process of bringing unincorporated property into the city limits of the annexing municipality. Unincorporated St. Louis County residents currently receive local government services directly from St. Louis County. Being annexed into a municipality such as what is proposed by the City of Manchester would transition the local government service provision from St. Louis County to the City of Manchester. And annexation adds a layer of local government that means properties in the annexation area would be subject to the rules and ordinances of the City of Manchester. So annexation occurs in a, it's a legal process that has a framework uh, as, as described by state statute. And St. Louis County is somewhat unique in that we're also subject to a boundary commission, which was established by state statute um, that is charged with reviewing any proposed boundary changes such as annexations, which occur wholly or partially within the county. The Boundary Commission is composed of 11 members, and it is an independent body that makes decisions. Um, the Boundary Commission reviews all proposed annexations to ensure they meet the minimum requirements of state statute, and they apply a three-pronged test to all requests. They seek to answer, is the request in the best interest of the municipality? Is the request in the best interest of the residents of the area to be annexed? And is the request in the best interest of the areas of unincorporated St. Louis County that would exist around the annexation area? So the, the annexation procedure, uh, as laid out in state statute, um, is first starts with a plan of intent, which is a legal document that is created by the municipality that wants to conduct the annexation, which then submits that plan of intent to the Boundary Commission. The plan of intent is a pretty intense document that includes geographic information, financial information, service provision information, and again, a link to the city's official plan of intent can be found in the description of this video. So that you can yourself see what the City of Manchester is proposing. Then the Boundary Commission conducts an analysis of that plan of intent in conjunction with a public hearing, which in this case occurred back at the end of June, as well as written comments that are provided to the Boundary Commission before the public hearing, uh, excuse me, before the public participation process ends on Tuesday, July 19th of 2022. 
So the Boundary Commission then must approve or disapprove of all proposed annexations within nine months of submittal of the proposal. In this case, uh, the, the proposal was accepted at the Boundary Commission's meeting on May 24th and must be decided by end of February 2023. However, I would note um, that they do not have to wait until the end of February 2023. They can make a decision uh, anytime between now and then. If approved by the Boundary Commission, the proposed annexation is then sent to a vote by the residents within the areas of the proposed boundary change, and both residents of Manchester and the unincorporated area to be annexed must vote in favor of the proposal. If disapproved by the Commission, no election is held and the proposal is deemed denied. So let's jump to the geography of, of some of this, of this request. First, St. Louis County. We are the most populous county in the state of Missouri with more than a million residents. County government provides local services to approximately a third of our residents or 315,000 people who reside in the unincorporation, unincorporated portions of the county. We provide contract services to over 90% of municipalities. And our service philosophy is based on the idea that residents should have direct, content, direct contact with content experts and professional staff. So diving down a little bit into the existing unincorporated area um, that, that exists uh, out in that part of the county, um, you can see here Hatchard in, in black is the larger unincorporated area, whereas outlined in purple is the annexation area as proposed. So you can see the annexation area is the heart of a large existing unincorporated area. This larger area is made up of nearly 3,600 acres with a population of 11,000 residents and 4,600 housing units. And if this area were to incorporate as a municipality, it would be the 21st most populous in St. Louis County, nestled between Berkeley and Town and & Country. So then diving down into the annexation area itself, which you can see here on this map is Hatchard in purple. It is made up of 1,466 acres with a total population of 6,549 residents with 2,865 total housing units. Inside of this area is Love Park as well as Piermont and Carmen Trails Elementary Schools. So the proposed municipal boundaries by the city of Manchester would expand the city's northern municipal boundary east to the city of town and country. It would then expand its southeastern boundary along Doherty Ferry Road to the city of De Pere, and it would create an eastern boundary along Barrett Station Road between Manchester and De Pere. This configuration would create five unincorporated areas, which you can see here on this map that are hatcheted in black that would be left over uh, if this annexation did occur. And those areas would be much more difficult for the county to provide services to. So jumping to tax implications of the annexation. What you have on your screen in front of you is a list of all of the layers of uh, government that has the ability to levy a property tax. And property taxes are levied based on a $100 assessed value of your property. Then it, there's a, a rate that, that is charged on every $100 of assessed value. And your, pro your total property tax outlay is really a layer of multiple jurisdictions, most of which will not change whether there is an annexation or not. And I wanna spend a, just a touch of time because I wanna jump through each of these layers and, and maybe provide you a little bit of explanation as to what they are and what they do. So first, the state of Missouri uh, has the lowest rate on here, which is about three cents for 100, uh, per $100 of assessed value. Um, and that money goes straight to the state. So St. Louis County's levy is approximately 42 cents for every $100 of assessed valuation, which represents about 3% of your total property tax bill. And it's out of this that local and regional services are funded. So jumping down to the community college, St. Louis Community College um, District, they do levy a 28 cents per $100 of assessed valuation rate. Um, and those monies are funded and used to fund the community college network in St. Louis. So the special school district does levy a $1 and approximately two cents um, per $100 of assessed valuation. And the special school district provides special educational services to students throughout St. Louis County, regardless of what school district they live in. 
the Metropolitan Zoological Park and Museum District levies approximately 25 cents per $100 of assessed valuation, and those monies are used um, to, to, to keep admission to the zoo and the museum, uh, museums free uh, there in Forest Park. Additionally, these monies are helping to fund the new Wild Care Park, which is located in unincorporated North St. Louis County. The Productive Living Board levies a seven cent per $100 of assessed valuation uh, tax, and those monies are used to assist individuals who are developmentally disabled live safe and independent lives. The County Library System levies a nearly 21 cent uh, tax per $100 of assessed valuation, which is used to fund the library system um, that is enjoyed by all 1 million of the county's residents. Uh, in this area, Parkway School District does levy a $3.64 um, taxation rate per $100 of assessed valuation, which is used to fund the Parkway Schools. MSD, the Metropolitan Sewer District, does levy a, a 10 cent levy per $100 of assessed valuation, and that is used to pay for capital and maintenance projects for sanitary and stormwater sewer uh, projects throughout MSD's jurisdiction. And rounding it off, fire protection in this area is covered by the West County EMS, and they levy a $1.06 approximate taxation rate for every $100 of assessed valuation. So before annexation, that means that uh, the, the taxes are 7.0641 for residentially um, for residentially used parcels. However, after annexation, that would increase because there would be an additional layer of Manchester's tax would be added to, annex, to the annexed residents, um, bringing the total tax to 7.3791. Now, I want to talk a little bit because St. Louis counties and Manchester's um, rates, by and large, do similar things and that they fund the local government services that, um, that you have every day. So by adding on Manchester's layer and transitioning the service provision from, this, from St. Louis County to Manchester is going to see a, a significant increase in the extraction of wealth from our residents to provide substantially similar services. So giving a couple of examples of how this would play out, um, if you have a home that's approximately $300,000 in market value um, with $57,000 of assessed value means that you're going to see a nearly $200 increase per year um, in your property tax for a home. Commercial properties will see uh, similar increases um, because commercial properties are typically larger and have higher values, their, their rates go, their outlays will increase even more thousands of dollars per year and personal property tax estimates you can see here um, if you have a vehicle that with a market value of approximately twenty five thousand dollars that brings your assessed value to about eight thousand um, dollars that increases your your yearly personal property outlay by about twenty seven dollars but when you start layering on multiple vehicles or you start layering on um, recreational vehicles and, and and watercraft you can start seeing a significant increase every year in your personal property tax and additionally, sales taxes are going to increase. So Manchester does levy a 1.25% sales tax that will be in addition to the sales tax that already exists. So residents will see this as they shop along Manchester Road. There will be a new tax on all purchases along Manchester Road. But of, I think more interest is the increase in sales tax when residents go to buy vehicles. So the average new car price in the United States is approximately $47,000. And that means that a resident in the annexation area will pay on average $588 more when they purchase a new vehicle. And if a resident owns multiple vehicles and, and replaces those vehicles every five to seven years, they're going to be hit with this increase in sales tax um, multiple times a decade. And this doesn't even bring into an example of what a recreational vehicle or a watercraft could cost in addition with the new sales tax. Also of note is there will be new costs to businesses in the annexation area. Manchester has a merchant's license fee, whereas St. Louis County does not. And a merchant license fee is calculated as a percentage of gross receipts. And the rate is on a sliding scale that is based on the gross receipts and the type of business. Now, this cost is solely borne by businesses, but it will be burdensome on businesses in the annexation area as they do not currently budget for this cost. And it could cost each business thousands of dollars, depending on their, on their sales and the types of business that they are. So jumping to the local services that are provided by St. Louis County. 
We do provide police services. Our Department of Transportation and Public Works provides street, sidewalk, and bridge maintenance, snow removal, as well as permitting inspection, inspections and code enforcement work. Our Department of Parks and Recreation provides uh, services year round. Our Public Health Department provides vector control, animal control, and waste collection. And the county also administers a sewer lateral program, the best one in our region. So St. Louis County Police is the largest and highest capacity law enforcement agency in our region, and it is one of the few agencies in the nation that has the triple CALEA accreditation, meaning that our training academy, our communications, and our law enforcement have all been accredited by CALEA, which is an international um, police accreditation um, organization. Average response times in the annexation area are extremely low. Um, the police have provided us the information that, that show that it only takes on average 1.75 minutes for a police officer to respond to a call for service in the annexation area. And the West County Precinct Neighborhood Policing Unit has extensive relationships with individuals and organizations within and throughout the annexation area. So here on the screen, you, you have a map. Um, you can see that the West County Precinct is located uh, in orange. You can see it here. I'm, I'm sort of marking it here in the cursor. And moving over to the map on the right, you can see here outlined in red is the annexation area uh, as proposed by the city of Manchester. You can see that it would leave um, this new unincorporated uh, area um, completely detached from the much larger unincorporated um, areas, as well as the, the, the unincorporated pockets here that it would create um, with the city of De Pere. So I do want to uh, bring to your attention uh, crime and calls for service maps. You can see here that it is a very low crime area and most of the calls for service in the years 2020 and 2021 really centered on Manchester Road. So our West County Precinct Neighborhood Policing Office has extensive partnerships and relationships in the annexation area, including 29 neighborhood watch groups, walk and talk programs where we walk uh, each uh, different subdivisions each week meeting with residents. We're active on social media um, and we do provide direct emails and phone numbers to residents when they have questions and concerns. Um, we also have a school resource officer assigned to Parkway Schools and we have close relationships um, with religious institutions throughout um, the general area. So jumping to our Department of Transportation and Public Works, um, the St. Louis County Public Works currently provides all permitting services for residents and businesses in the annexation area. And by and large, we provide those same services to the city of Manchester through a contract today. And since 2016, approximately 3,700 permits of all types have been issued in the annexation area. Moving on to snow removal and road maintenance, the county does have a snow removal target of 24 hours after the end of a snowfall. And county transportation is charged with servicing major roads such as arterials and collector streets, as well as residential streets throughout the annexation area. So street conditions in the annexation area. The county does keep a database of pavement conditions throughout the, its jurisdiction um, countywide so that when we program each year our, our, our budgeting to make sure that our streets are in good repair, um, that we are attacking the streets that are in the worst condition and, and on a rotating basis. So we do use the pavement condition rating system where um, 10 is excellent and one is rubble. Of the approximately 16 miles of roadway that would be conveyed to the city of Manchester should this annexation to occur, approximately 13 miles or 80% already have a pavement condition rating of six or better, which means that the roads are in good condition. So the county is constantly working to ensure that its roads are in, uh, are in good to very good to excellent shape. Our Parks and Recreation Department is the largest in the region. We managed over 12,000 acres of land with, in 46 parks with significant and extensive trail systems. We have programs and activities year round, uh, multiple recreation complexes throughout the county, and three golf courses. Located in this annexation area is Love Park, which includes a, a playground, uh, several athletic fields, some trails, and two shelters. Um, and it should be noted that should this annexation occur, Love Park will remain under the control um, of St. Louis County and will not be conveyed to the city of Manchester. Our Department of Public Health uh, provides vector control services to the proposed annexation area as well as to the city of Manchester today, and vector control includes uh, mosquito and rat abatement. Uh, 
Uh, the county provides animal control services countywide, and we also provide waste collection services to the proposed annexation area. So jumping to waste collection, this area is part of St. Louis County's trash district number four, and the service provider is Waste Connections. And the contract period, which goes from 2022 through 2027, uh, has a monthly cost starting off this year with $15.50. Uh, you can get a 10% discount if you are an older resident. This service includes a weekly trash and recycling pickup, once a month bulk item collection pickup, as well as seasonal yard waste pickups. Additionally, residents can layer on uh, yard waste um, and turn it on and off throughout the year as they need. Also, St. Louis County Department of Public Health also funds uh, an electronic recycling event throughout the county, including the event that is scheduled on July 16th in the city of Manchester. I want to bring a little bit of attention to this um, slide or to this um, chart here in the middle of the slide. You can see here that. Um, monthly cost at St. Louis County is 1550 and we are we are showing that the monthly cost in Manchester is actually higher at 1942 per month. However, the city of Manchester does provide a $13.42 subsidy to have a direct cost to residents of $6. However, we also note that there are no guarantees that future city councils for Manchester will continue to subsidize the cost of waste collection. And this subsidy is really being collected through the provision or through the collection of additional property tax on top of what people are already paying um, in their current existing tax. And going to the sewer lateral program, and the county has the best one in the county. Uh, residents in the annexation area will see a cost increase of $22 per year in their tax bill um, should they be annexed into the city of Manchester. And once annexed, if the program were needed, in the city of Manchester, there is a $750 application fee, and they only cover $6,000 of the cost. In St. Louis County, there is no application fee and there is no cap on the cost. And this is because the county's program is so large that we can cover those extremely high cost repairs um, without, without any sort of cap. So if a sewer lateral fails in the city of Manchester and it costs more than $6,000 and they frequently easily can, um, that means that the resident would be on the hook for the remaining, for the remaining cost, whereas in St. Louis County, they're not. So in summary, approval of this will represent a significant tax increase for property owners. Businesses will see a new large expense which had previously been unaccounted for. Residents will not experience an increase in the quality of their services that is commensurate with the increases in their taxes. And the county will lose a significant amount of revenue that will negatively affect our ability to continue our delivery of high quality services. And this effort hasn't been initiated by residents or businesses in the proposed annexation area. So call to action, why you watched all of this. Um, you gotta make your voice heard. You can provide comment to the Boundary Commission only until Tuesday, July 19th of 2022. At that point, the record will be closed and they will not be accepting any more comment um, regarding this action before they make a decision. So the Boundary Commission's comment form can be found on their website. Uh, a link again is in the description. Or if you have additional questions about this presentation, please do contact the Planning Department here at St. Louis County, 314. 615-2520, or you can email us at planning at stlouiscountymo.gov. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this presentation, uh, and I hope that you have a great day.